All right, if you like breadboards and LED lights, this might be interesting. So normally, uh, common LEDs come in single colors. There's a red one, a green one, and a yellow one. I think there's uh, a few more colors you can get. I think there's up to about eight colors now. But this LED that I'm going to show is called a RGB LED, or red, green, and blue. And it comes with four legs with a common anode right there, that leg. But in order for this one to work, you have to either set it up on an Arduino or uh, have four or three different circuits to get this to work. So I set it up on this breadboard. And here's how this one works. Now I can get the uh, red to work by pushing this button. That initiates that the red part of the LED. Now this, the middle one is the green, and get the green going like that. And the last one is the blue one. I think it looks kind of green, but it's blue. But in order for this one to work without being attached to an Arduino circuit, you need to activate each circuit separately. And But I just found this LED right here. It's the same <clears throat> type of, of LED, but you can see it's only got the anode and the cathode leg and it's just hooked up to one circuit there's the positive there's the uh, resistor I think it's a 200 ohm resistor and you can see it's changing colors so I just found these so they're pretty cool but if you try to put that LED and it's called a uh, it's called a 5 millimeter blinking LED and it's called slow rotating and I got them from Microtivity. You can see it's their IL604 RGB slow rotating LED. And the voltage needed is 3.2 to 3.6 but I'm using a little bit more in this circuit. <clears throat> so if you try to put this LED on an R R a uh, 555 circuit and I have a few 555 circuits set up over here. I'll get them all going. That is about 6 volts right there. And I got them all going at different uh, on different times because I'm using different resistors and different capacitors. But I'm going to replace this one here with that rotating to see if I can get it to rotate in the 555 circuit. Turn the light on. All right, I just replaced this RGB light, and you can see it's only it's only flashing in the red. Now the red takes I think 1.6 volts to activate the aluminum gallium arsenide. I think that's what red is. And I haven't figured out how to rotate that LED yet in that 555 circuit, so I'm just going to put it back in the other circuit. Let's see if I can get it going again. So it will not work in a 555 circuit unless I can figure out how to get all three of them rotating. But I did make up another board with about six or seven of those rotating LEDs. Let's see if we can get this thing to work. So you can see this thing rotates between red, green, I think that's blue coming in. Yeah, it's blue. And then it changed a little bit. There it goes green. So if you like LEDs and breadboard fun, you can get these uh, slow rotating. I think they have some fast rotating LEDs. I'll have to get them too. But there is the slow rotating LEDs and they rotate between red, blue looks like some yellow in there green a little bit of white they get pretty bright so yeah I think that deserves a little bit of cowbell
Nakaba.